Are you tired of poorly edited, hard to follow GFX tutorials? Well then you, my friend, are in the right place. In this video, I'll be going over how to make a Roblox GFX using the Roblox Man and Woman rigs. As for blocky rigs, a separate tutorial will be linked in the description. This tutorial is perfect for beginners as I'll be going over everything step by step, not assuming that you know anything beforehand. If you find that you have any questions, leave a comment, although I do respond a lot quicker if you join the Discord server. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. First off, you want to have a few programs installed. That being Blender, the rigs of your choice, man or woman, and the Avatar Importer plugin by Already Pro. The Avatar Importer allows you to import your avatar directly into Roblox Studio. So, once you have all those installed, open up Roblox Studio. Now that you're in Roblox Studio, head over to the plugins area. Select load character and type in your avatar name. Make sure you have Spawn R6 and Spawn at Origin selected. Once you have your avatar spawned in, we're going to take a quick break from Roblox Studio. Head over to your desktop homepage and create a new folder. The name doesn't matter as long as you can recognize it. Now go into the folder and create a few subsections. We're going to do one for the head, one for the body, one for any other accessories you may have such as backpacks, skirts, shoulder pads, anything that does not go on your head. And then another folder for a prop. This is optional and you can also have multiple props in the same GFX as long as you just create more folders. The reason why I'm creating so many folders is that sometimes textures don't save properly so I like to take some precautions. A lot of times textures won't save correctly, it won't load into Blender correctly, something will be missing, something will be transparent that's not supposed to be transparent. I get comments like these all the time. My best solution would just be start over. Um, if you're not too far into the GFX, which you aren't if you notice like a hat, something obvious like a hat being transparent, just go ahead and restart. It'll only take you a few minutes. So if you have any texture glitches, just go ahead and restart. So now that we have our folder created, head back into Roblox Studio and find your character in the Explorer. Click the drop down arrow and locate your head and your hats. Make sure you don't accidentally select your backpacks or any other accessories you have on. Just the head and the hats. Hold control to select multiple things at once, by the way. Then right click and press export selection. And then now we're going to find the folder that we just created. And then save it to head. Once you're done, select just your hats, not the head, and delete them. Now, sometimes when you delete things, the textures for other items will screw up. In this case, this archer thing that I have on my back just turned solid orange, but a quick resave, just spawn the avatar back in, get the only specific props you need, it, it fixed it all up. So now I'm gonna save the backpack accessory that I have on to the backpack folder that I made. Then just delete that, and now you can save your body. Okay, now we're done with our actual avatar, and you can find a prop that you want. Not all props will load into Blender correctly, so you might need to do a few resaves finding different props. If you don't like one, you might have to settle for another if it doesn't load into Blender correctly. For this tutorial, I'll just be using something simple, like a, a cup. Now the way you can tell it's a model is that if you click on it and then over there in the explorer, it has this little three bricks icon right here. That's how you can tell it's a model. So using the same process as our body, save it to the prop folder. And we are done with Roblox Studio. We're gonna head into Blender now. Now the way that you open up your rig is just head into the file and then click on rig and then make sure it's the faceless variant. Okay, so we are here in Blender now. Now everything was kind of confusing, there's a lot of lines and whatnot, but understanding this is very simple. But first off, we're going to want to do a few things before we actually start modeling our GFX. First of all, change this to 
this little clock icon right here to a shader editor. Then you can click on your body and this thing will appear right here. If it doesn't show up, uh, just click around until it does. And you can move around here by holding down the middle mouse button. Then find this orange box right here that says texture. Click on this folder thing and then locate your body folder that we created earlier. Now that we found the body thing, click on this. You should have something that looks like this. It's just your name or something followed by a texture PNG thing. And then once you do that, your textures should load in. So now it's starting to look like a Roblox GFX. But now we want to delete the head. Click on the head, just click right click and then just delete it. It's gone. And now we import our own head. Head over here next to the Blender logo, press file, import, wavefront.obj. Head back over to our folder that we created and then head and then press head.obj. So right now the head looks a bit wonky. It The textures are transparent, it's not facing the right way, it's not even attached to our body, but we're gonna fix this right now. The first thing you want to do is head over to this bottom right corner and select this little circle right here that says viewport shading. Press on that and then click on your head again. Right click on the head and then press set origin and then geometry to origin. That will shove your head down here. Now we're going to get into actually 3D modeling now. This is really all you need to know. Move and rotate. Click on move, drag your head up then click on rotate and then make your make it so that your head is facing the correct way you can hold down your middle mouse button to look around and you can use this hand right here to adjust your viewing angle now if everything's kind of like glitching out right now and it's a little blurry hard to see what i like to do is i like to change between the different viewing modes so sometimes i'll change to this one because it just it looks simpler but in the end, you want to make sure that you are selecting this circle again. So make sure your head is positioned correctly onto the body. There. And now, what about our backpack accessory from earlier though? Same process. File, import, wavefront.obj, find the folder, and import it. And then, just like our head, right click, set origin, geometry to origin, and then move it to the correct position. Nice. Our avatar is starting to look like a proper GFX now. Alright, so now we are actually going to start making our GFX look like a GFX. Make sure this is set to pose mode over here. And then once again, it's just move and rotate, move and rotate. Select on these rings near the joints and use the move and rotate tool to move it around. It's really simple once you get to learn it. So I'll just have this arm going up, I'll have him waving at the camera, and I'll have the head tilted this way, and just move it around. It's a really easy and simple system to learn. So. I'll do a quick time lapse of me posing this thing and then cut back to rendering it. Okay, so now that I have my person posed, I'm going to import my coffee mug prop from earlier. So just same process. Alright, now sometimes it'll appear like way over there, way over there or something. Just same process, so geometry to origin, and that's all you really need to know. So now that you have your GFX all finished, let's get into actually rendering this. Head over to this red earth looking icon and make sure ambient occlusion is selected. You can leave this off if you want to, I know sometimes it screws with it, makes everything pink or too bright, but yeah. Another thing we want to have installed is the Lightroom. This will give your background a nice fade 
gradient looking thing so let's go ahead and import that once you have it installed again link for everything will be in the description below all right so this is lightroom some giant half tunnel backdrop looking thing but let's say you don't like white well, if you go over here and click this material properties red checkered ball thing, then you can change the color of it by using these things right here and just uh, play around with the color, see what you like. I'm going to make mine this uh, nice light blue. But what if we want more? What if we want, say, like a beam of orange light and then like a blue background well head over to add and then light and then point this will spawn in a little orb thing that doesn't really do much now and if you don't really have a good computer by now it you might notice things getting a little toasty your computer fans ramping up a little bit but basically what this point is is just think of it as an orb an orb of light so right now the, the power is set to really weak. You can see here in this light adjusting area. So we're going to change it to like nice orange beam. We'll up the power to like 1000. So now you can't really see it right now because um, we're having to like render everything. So the computer is kind of slowing down a little bit, but there's a nice orange beam there. So let's actually render this thing now. So select add. Oh, remember you can always switch between these circles if rendering is getting a bit too hard. So select add and then camera. And now let's position our camera correctly. You can see what your camera is seeing by pressing this. And then to get out of it, just press the middle mouse button on your mouse. To adjust the, like, the shape of this, you can head over to this icon right here kind of looks like a printer and you can change the dimensions of the frame so let's say i want it square now it's 1080 by 1080 because the x and y's are the same it's perfectly one to one and you can just yeah say so we'll say you want like a, a thumbnail for i don't know something that requires vertical then you could do that or standard youtube thumbnail 1920 by 1080 you can mess around with anything you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using square. So go ahead and keep repositioning your camera until it is in a good position. So that's pretty good. Now we get to the fun part, rendering the thing. Make sure that you're back to this circle, then press render, and then render image. Now I'll do a quick time lapse of this rendering. It shouldn't take too long, depending on how good of a computer you have. But when I first started doing GFX, I was doing it on my crappy Dell laptop that had Intel UHD graphics, and it worked completely fine as long as you just gave it a little time. So now it's done. Here is the fruit of your labor. Now it may look a bit blurry, a bit pixelated, but I mean, it is Roblox. You don't really need it to look 100% crystal clear. So now we're gonna save this. Go over to image, then save as, and save it as whatever you want wherever you want. All right, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope this was clear to you. I know I'm not the best at narrating doing these solo recordings, but I hope it was able to teach you how to do a GFX. So thank you all for watching. If you consider subscribing and liking, it'd be a huge help to a small channel right, like mine, and I will see you all in the next video.